Hey Scrabble fans, Will here with another episode of Better Know a Letter. Today, we're going to get to know the X. There's only one X in the set of 100 tiles used in Scrabble, and it's worth a massive 8 points, cementing its status as one of the game's power tiles. Two-letter words containing power tiles are the most important words to learn in the game of Scrabble, and in this regard, the X outperforms its peers by a wide margin. There are five two-letter words containing the X in the NWL lexicon compared to only one for each of the Z, J, and Q. In Collins, the Z and J get some help, but the X remains way ahead. In fact, when an extremely strong Scrabble AI played itself thousands of times, it used the X as part of a two- or three-letter primary word an amazing 45.5% of the time easily the most of any letter. This means that if you're new to the game, simply learning the five two-letter X words, along with a handful of three-letter X words, will help you use the X like an expert faster than any other letter. The diverse array of two-letter X words creates frequent opportunities to play your X parallel to another word. Just be aware that your opponent might be able to use that same attribute against you. If you place your X near a valuable bonus square, expect your opponent to respond with just as powerful of a play. Of course, part of the reason for the X's affinity to hit the board in shorter words is that it's an extremely poor bingo tile. A paltry 2% of 7 and 8 letter words contain an X. Only the J and Q have lower marks. Therefore, when you draw the X, you should identify the best bonus squares available on the board where you can play it and focus on the short words that fit there. Sometimes you'll even be able to drop the X down all by itself on a triple letter score and score 50 or more points in the process. The X showcases some noteworthy positional trends within shorter words. You can see that in three-letter words, it's nearly always the final letter. But in four-letter words, though it's almost never the first letter, it's quite evenly distributed among the second, third, and fourth positions. In five-letter words, the distribution becomes lopsided again, with the X appearing by far most frequently as the middle letter, and almost never as the first and fourth letter of a five-letter word. You can use these trends to your advantage. Learning the relatively small number of X words where the X appears in an unusual position will really help you get the most out of it in situations where the usual patterns don't fit. Here's a list of idiosyncratic X words that you'll use frequently to get the most out of your X. Now let's take a closer look at which letters mesh best with the X in shorter words of three to five letters in length the words you're likeliest to play with your X. There aren't many consonants that showcase particularly strong synergy with the X. Like many power tiles, the X tends to consume a lot of vowels. The L tops the list at only a small increase, in part because of the many three-letter words containing an L and their inflections. The Y also appears surprisingly frequently with the X as part of the XY combo in four-letter words. The D gets a boost from the XED inflection for verbs, and the F and M also appear in several shorter words with many variations. On the other hand, several consonants display much worse than average synergy with the X. The K, G, and H appear in relatively few short X words. The R turns up alongside the X in a modest number of words, but many fewer than you would expect from the R's robust overall appearance rate. Perhaps the most striking change is the steep drop-off with the S. This is because the S can normally be added at the end of any noun to pluralize it, but doesn't work this way with the X. Because the X requires an E to pluralize or inflect to ED or ER, the E boasts extremely strong synergy with the X in five-letter words. 
The E normally appears in just under 44% of all five-letter words, but it appears in 69% of five-letter words containing an X, an enormous increase. Lastly, the X blends exceedingly poorly with the other power tiles. There are literally no words of length 3 through 5 containing both a Q and an X, and very, very few containing JX or ZX. The very small number of words that do contain these letters will add some huge scoring punch to your game. Okay, let's recap what we've learned about the X. The X is a phenomenal scoring tile because of its 8-point face value and diverse array of two-letter words, enabling easy parallel plays with bonus squares. However, its upside is capped slightly by its severe underrepresentation in 7- and 8-letter words. Its flexibility in parallels can also be a double-edged sword, allowing your opponent high-scoring overlaps. The strongest Scrabble computer engines use the X in a two or three letter word more than any other letter. This makes the X a letter you can learn to use effectively extremely fast. However, if you should happen to have the X alongside another high scoring power tile, be wary, there are very few words containing them both. And while the X and S are both good tiles individually, the X doesn't mesh as well with the S as other letters since it requires an additional E to pluralize. I'm giving the X four stars. The X is unquestionably a strong tile, offering consistent scores in the 30 to 50 point range that even newcomers to the game can quickly unlock. Just be wary that it clashes with other power tiles and is highly dependent on whether or not there are open bonus squares to use it with in your particular game. Despite these caveats, the X is a tile you'll be excited to see on your rack most of the time.